All right, guys, Terry Doctor here, and today I'm going to show you how to master the M1 Garand, a rifle that many people call the best weapon in the game. In this video, I will show you how to hit targets starting at 100 meters, going up to 250 meters. We will look at how many shots it takes to kill at each range, where to aim to get headshots, and then hitting running and sprinting targets. Bullet penetration will also get looked at, and then at the end will be some tips on using the rifle. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. So first up is 100 meters. And it takes one shot to kill. For a headshot, it just needs to aim at your target's head. For a running target 100 meters, you just need to aim very slightly ahead of them, as shown in the highlighted shapes. And for a sprinting target, aim about half a person ahead of your target. For 150 meters, it's still one shot to kill. And for a headshot, aim at the tip of your target's head. For a moving target, you want to make sure your target is basically standing behind the curved parts of your sight. And the aim point for sprinting at 150 is pretty much the same as running. Now on to 200 meters and shots to kill at 200 meters is still one. And for a headshot, similar to 150, aim at the tip of your target's head. Moving targets to 200, again, just get them on the curved part of your sight. And sprint in at 200. Again, get it on the curved part of the sight. Now, 250 meters, it now takes two shots to kill, and it seems to be anything above 200 meters is two shots. And for a headshot, you want to aim about a head's worth above your target. Now for moving and sprinting targets, again, it is just the curved part of the sight. The bullet velocity must be pretty fast on the M1 Garand because the aim point for all moving targets, it's pretty much the same. I mean, as you're going further up the sights, you may need to get your target towards the edge of the sights a bit more, but it's still just the curved part of the sight. Now on to bullet penetration and we'll start with wood and wood increases the amount of shots to kill by one. But headshots through wood is still a single shot to kill. And through stone, the M1 Garand cannot penetrate stone at all. Now I'll just give you a couple of tips on using the weapon in game. And the first one is to pre-aim and you can use this or you should be doing this for every weapon in the game. So what I would recommend is to ADS your weapon before leaving cover. So this just eliminates that small amount of time it takes to ADS your weapon when spotting someone. So this could actually be the difference between you killing someone and them killing you. If you know the rough direction of the enemy when you're crouching cover then just aim in that direction pop out of cover, adjust your aim, and take the shot. And second is recoil control. And recoil control is the key to mastering the M1 Grand. The best way to practice this without jumping straight into combat is to join a near empty server, join an open squad on the US side, and select a role like the rifleman, and head towards like a house or some sort of structure and find a point on that house and just keep shooting at it and practice bringing down your mouse to that point and shooting again. Start off slow and gradually speed up and speed up until your shots are getting really close to that point you're shooting at. If you can keep practicing doing that, when you get into an actual game, you'll be able to just kill people really, really quickly, especially multiple targets because you'll be able to quickly shoot and kill someone because this one hit kill at most combat ranges I would say then quickly aim at the second target and quickly kill him and so on you can nearly wipe out an entire squad if you're quick 
So get into an empty server or a near empty server and practice doing this recoil control. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you out with this rifle. If you have tips of your own, then please leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel because I will be doing guides on all the weapons in the game, including the Soviet Union ones when they are released. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.